Okay, I know we've been doing a ton of Barbie themed videos lately. We'll take a break after this one, I swear. But I came across this really interesting article where they used AI to create what Barbie dream houses would look like in different countries. Don't get me wrong, that's a very cool idea. I just don't know how I feel about AI art still. But I thought, what if we applied that concept to the worlds of The Sims 4? And so this is what Barbie dream houses would look like in different worlds of The Sims 4. And this video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep makes premium fiberglass free mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. And they're conveniently shipped right to your door with free shipping to the US. Sleep is so important and finding the perfect mattress on your own can be kind of tricky. Plus everybody is different. So Helix Sleep made a sleep quiz that matches your unique body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. I need to sleep on my side. I cannot fall asleep any other way and I really like a medium firm mattress. So I was matched with the Helix Midnight model. Plus I always get so hot at night with my boyfriend plus our two dogs sleeping all snugly in the bed. It can get hot in there. So I ordered the Glacio Text cover which keeps us so much cooler at night. I've now had this mattress for a couple weeks and I can already tell the difference. I fall asleep so fast now. My boyfriend loves it. The two pups love it which is obviously very important. Plus you can rest assured that Helix mattresses do not contain fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. So other mattress companies use fiberglass as like a flame retardant in their mattresses, but Helix mattresses are free of harmful fiberglass materials. They actually have their own manufacturing facility, which is completely free of any products containing fiberglass. As you may have seen in the news or in TikTok recently, there have been a number of health issues and lawsuits surrounding fiberglass mattresses. So I sleep very easy knowing Helix doesn't use it. <laughs> the mattresses come rolled up in a box and it was really easy to set up. And if you're nervous about buying something that you haven't tried, there's also a 100 night sleep trial to test the mattress out and really make sure you love it. These mattresses include a 10 year warranty and they also offer financing options and flexible payment plans. I love my Helix mattress and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix Sleep by clicking on the link down below or go to helixsleep.com slash sidmac to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you so much to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. We're gonna build three houses today. The first one is going to be here in Willow Creek. This is of course a Sims 4 base game world. So we're only going to be using base game for this one. And the style of this world was apparently influenced by the architecture of New Orleans, which we can definitely see some similarities in the way that these builds were created. So our first Barbie dream house will be influenced by that type of architecture. I might go a little bit faster than normal for this video because we're gonna be building three houses in one. So we'll be doing two stories for my shell and I might just add a little something going on over to the side here too. So far this is my shell and I've got my base game filter on. Obviously we're going to be going pink so I'm adding some pink wallpaper here and I think I'll use white brick over here for my chimney. My foundation however the woody <laughs> is gonna be purple. Kinda going for like a little bit of pastel here. Let's go ahead and get our roofing and you'll notice a lot of base game houses in The Sims 4 have very basic roofing. So I'm going to be going on with this gabled roof piece and I'm going to bring that all the way to the back. But then I'm also going to go in with my hipped roof and I'm basically going to put that right where I put the other roof. I'm going to bring out the adjusters and we're kind of just hoping for something like that. Then I'm going to take a base game fence and I'm just going to draw out on this little part here. You can see the house next door has kind of like that fencing roof detail. We've got something like that on that house across the street too. And I think roof paint we might try and do like a pink. I'm going to use some pink columns to open up this balcony here. We'll get some pink spandrels and I think I'm just going to finish off that area with a fence here. We're going to add some trim. I feel like that part just kind of pulls it all together. And for windows and doors, you know, we're going to have to go pink. We'll use some pink shutters here and I'm also adding columns to the corners of the house. Okay, here is what I've done with the exterior with all the windows and the landscaping done. I think it looks really pretty as it is. We've got a path 
leading around to the back. I added some details on the windows. And going to the back here, I added a few of these loungers, which just remind me of Barbie chairs. But you'll notice I did leave this space empty because we're going to build a heart-shaped pool. So I'm basically just gonna take my custom pool tool and we're just gonna draw around the shape here. Like I'm gonna bring it down. I have never been good at drawing hearts, like in The Sims or in real life. But like, that's not too bad. Then we can take some plain white flooring and using control F on my keyboard, I'm able to change the flooring type from the square to the triangle. And that way you can get in to trace all of these little diagonal lines. So I'm just gonna trace around this entire thing. And there we have our super cute heart-shaped pool in the back. Okay, now we're able to go inside. So for the interior, we're gonna do a pretty open concept main floor with an open concept living room, kitchen, and dining. And then upstairs, we're gonna do a hallway here, one bedroom, and a bathroom over to the left. So let's start off here with the living room. Again, using base game only for this entire build. I think I wanna put a fireplace right here with a TV mounted on top. And I know we've got our fair share of pink couches. I'm gonna be using this one here with of course the matching pink chairs. And we have this awkward like nook over here. I think I'm gonna put a bookshelf in there. Just kind of like squeezed in there like that. For my rug, I kind of wanna bring in some blue. I was thinking maybe like one of these swatches could be cute or even like the cloud rug. We also have a nice like pink lamp I could use or we could use the blue. Pink, blue, and purple is like generally the color scheme for Barbie. <laughs> and I'm gonna add more clutter. I just wanna make sure that I can fit my dining table. Although if we're going for like a Willow Creek <laughs> base game build, we're not gonna have a whole lot of clutter happening anyway. <laughs> or really a whole lot of anything happening in the build at all. <laughs> I won't do that to you guys though, don't worry. Over here, I'm gonna add my fridge. I feel like this one looks like a toy. <laughs> We're gonna do some pink counters and it's a little bit of an awkward like diagonal over here. So I'm just gonna squeeze one into the corner like that. We'll get our sink and my oven is gonna squeeze right in there. I'm gonna add these base game curtains here. And actually I feel like base game has kind of come a long way. There's a lot of things in base game that I really like now, like these chairs and tables. This coffee table is one of my favorites and there's so many different colors you can pick. Also like this end table here. Maybe I'll rearrange the living room layout like that. Ooh, there's this really cool Barbie neon light that I wanna download. This is the creator right here. I'm gonna try and download this. This might be a little bit tricky to place though. Ooh, if I could get it right there. All right, so I've downloaded this as a room. I'm gonna place it, delete the walls. And actually that wasn't as bad to place as I thought it would be. I just have to like replace my flooring and everything. That is so cool over there and it's still base game. I'm also gonna be downloading some cute Barbie art from this creator here. So this is what I did for the interior of my first Barbie dream house. Using all base game, I think it looks really cute in here considering. I made a study area over here. We've got a camera there. And then over to this side is where we've got our kitchen and dining. I added some clutter up on these shelves here. We've got the neon light, the purple plum bob lamp. Over to this side, I added one of these pictures, which that always reminds me of Barbie. I don't know why. Now we're ready to go upstairs and I feel like I need to clutter a little bit less. Like let's make this look like it would if it were an actual EA made base game Barbie house upstairs. It would be way darker than this. We would have a bed, honestly still darker, <laughs> like literally like that. But we would maybe have a lamp or like some overhead lighting. I'm gonna put an end table over here with maybe another lamp on top. Ooh, this rug is really pretty. I think I'm gonna put that either underneath the bed or I could even put it over here. I'm planning on putting like a closet. Ooh, but these ones are pretty too. Wait a minute. Okay, maybe I'll use that. In here, we're gonna put a stand-up mirror. I'm gonna put a dresser over here and I feel like they always put like a random chair in there. So I'm just gonna put like one right there. And I still have room in this little corner. I could still even put another dresser. And since it's Barbie, we could definitely do that. Maybe we can even put some mirrors behind like these ones. I'm gonna put up some pink curtains. Maybe like another mirror on this side with a plant. I feel like I'm already adding too much. And I have room to mount a TV right here. Okay, this is my attempt at just doing a very basic EA inspired base game bedroom. I actually don't hate it. It's definitely a little bit more empty than I would usually like, but this area over here is nice. We've got that dresser, the mirror, actually multiple mirrors for Barbie, a very empty, sad looking dresser over there. I think I'm gonna continue this style through the rest of the house and then we can go on to the next one. So for my hallway, I literally just put one of these hallway rugs, which they love to use with a chair and a lamp at the end. And I'm actually not kidding. I love this 
swatch of this lamp. I didn't know we had this like pink, almost kind of see-through body of the lamp. The lampshade could be different. Actually, I take it back. It was the lighting getting that like body to look different. There's like a tiny bit of pink lighting coming from downstairs and it made it look like that. I don't know. I think that looks cool. It wasn't intentional, <laughs> but there's my EA hallway. And for the bathroom, I put a sink and pretty much everything in here, toilet, bathtub. Definitely think I decorated again a little bit more than I should have for an EA built house but I do think it looks cute in here. Again, all base game for this entire build. And this is what our Sims 4 Willow Creek Barbie dream house has looked like. We're ready to move on to the next one. And next up, we're gonna be building in Chestnut Ridge. This is a new world that comes with the Sims 4 horse ranch. And at the time of me filming this, this is the newest world and pack that we have. All of the lots in this pack were built in a ranch style. They all have natural wood tones and textures, and they all have a very cozy, homey feel to them. So I'm gonna build on this lot here. It's literally called the Cozy Corner House. I'm gonna start out building my shell coming along this way. Then I'm gonna go up on top and I'm gonna leave a little bit of room for a balcony, but I'm gonna bring it back this way again. But I'm also going to be bringing it out this way as well. I'm gonna take a flooring piece and I'm gonna build out a deck here. And my goal is to put a pool on there. I don't know what it is, but pools just remind me of Barbie homes. <laughs> So I'm bringing that out pretty much as far as I can get it. And I think I'm gonna put my pool somewhere here. So with the stairs added, this is what our shell is looking like right now. The roofing here is gonna be one of the main features. So I'm gonna go in with a gabled roof piece. I'm gonna bring it over and I'm gonna bring it all the way to the front. And then I'm gonna hold shift on my keyboard and just bring out this part here. We're then gonna go in with some of the new horse ranch columns in this blue color. And I'm gonna put those on the ends, but I'm also going to put them in the middle and I'm gonna bring it all the way up to meet the roof. So we're gonna have our columns looking like that. I'm gonna add a white fence going around this way. And the other roof piece is gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna be a gabled roof piece, kind of just going back there like that. Horse Ranch actually came with some pink siding. So I'm gonna be using a lot of that. They must have known this is coming out around the time of the Barbie movie. I'm gonna use a blue fence going around my pool here. And I'm actually gonna take my columns again and just put them underneath. So they're gonna be holding up that like, deck. And then I'm going to trace where I put those columns around with the fence again. Okay, this is what it's looking like without any windows. So I'm going to go in and start to add some of those, I think in white. We'll put them along here. We can use a light blue door up top and I'm going to have another door like right here at the top of the stairs. I'm going to try and use like mostly the Sims 4 horse ranch here, but I'm not going to limit to myself this time with that and base game. I'm going to use some white wood on my balconies. And also I love these roof details that we got. I'm gonna go in with a couple of these, but I don't see one with any pink siding. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is maybe for the top floor, we can change that over to blue siding. And I think I'm also gonna change this part down below to stone. This time we're gonna be able to add some pool floaties to the pool here. I've added my favorite new log bench over to this corner with a really cute pink and blue rug underneath. I also added more things like these window details and shutters. And here is what our horse ranch Barbie dream house is looking like. I feel like this is exactly what it would look like if Barbie lived in Chestnut Ridge. I love the pink and blue. It's giving like cotton candy. I was actually able to make the underneath part a perfect spot to put a horse. So I left this part pretty open. I gave the horse a ball to play with. We've of course got the stable in here with the food and the water trough, the bed. I also added a couple of like the horse ranch details on the wall. I didn't even really intend to have that down there. It just was the the perfect opportunity to add the horse. So this is what the house is looking like from the outside. And the floor plan inside is gonna be a little bit weird because we actually have our entry on the second floor. So you're gonna walk in, we're gonna have a hallway, maybe a living room here, a big bathroom over to the left and a bedroom. And then down below is where I'm gonna have the kitchen and dining. Okay, so let's start off here with the living room. I think I wanna put a big fireplace here. I actually put that stone wall behind. And on top of that, we can mount our TV. There are actually some really cute like interior pink swatches too with this pack. I want to use a pink couch, but I don't know if it's going to be too much. Ooh, what about that combination there from high school years? We've got the egg chair there. All of the matching colors are here. And then we can still bring in some of the end tables from Horse Ranch. I totally forgot to add ceiling textures to the base game house, but I am going to add them here. So now we can see them up there like that. Ooh, and these colorful pictures that I've been dying to use are going to come in so handy in this build. Okay, so this is what I 
did for our Barbie Ranch dream house. <laughs> this is so cute. I love the color scheme in here, the pink and the orange. We used a lot of the horse ranch stuff, but we also did use some from high school years to like kind of tie it all together. Like these cartons, I feel like they just match the vibe in here so well. I added some little Barbie shoes right here at the front. And this is what our main room is looking like. I think we should go over to the bedroom. This is a pretty big bedroom. We're gonna have a lot of room in here. And we also lead out onto the balcony from here. What should we use for my bed? We've got a couple pink options here. I really like this one, this like salmon -y color <laughs> with the blue. I wonder if I can make this look like Barbie. I think underneath here, I'm gonna put a high school years rug, but we're gonna go back in again with more of like the horse ranch wood decor. Maybe I'll use these end tables here this time. I think I need a little bit more pink going on in here. So I might bring in maybe some like pink lighting. I actually think I might have a few more options if I use this pink swatch here instead. I've added the horse ranch dresser over there with a mirror from high school years. And I actually just added that also from horse ranch. And in there we can put some of the cute pink clothes. I might actually do two of these. Barbie is a fashion girly. She's got lots of clothes, obviously. Oh, we have a cute pink stool I could put by the mirror. I might put another one over in the corner there. Okay, so this is what our Barbie horse ranch bedroom is looking like. We've got the mirror over to this side. I really love the blue from that. This tapestry I'm gonna be using so often. There's so many pretty swatches with it. We're adding some coziness with that cottage living basket. And then over to this side, I just added a bench with some folded blankets. We've got, of course, my closet over here. And now we're ready to move on to the massive bathroom that we have over here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna change the flooring on this. Maybe we'll just do some like white tile instead or even like that from Eco Lifestyle. I didn't really want this to be such a big bathroom. It just kind of ended up being like that, but I'm going to grab the Get Famous tub. Anytime I have a big bathroom, it's immediately I go to this bathtub. Ooh, actually, maybe we could put laundry right here. Like we can stack the machines. There's even like pink and blue ones we could use if we want to. And actually, I could even separate that even more by adding a wall right here. We'll just kind of like shove those in there like that. <laughs> We're going to add some robes here and maybe I could put a counter over in this corner. I don't normally put counters in my bathroom, but whenever people do it, it always looks so good. So maybe Maybe I'll put them all along like this or even just two there like that. We're gonna play around with it. We'll use the outdoor retreat mirror with our sinks there and I still have so much room. Okay, I could do a shower here. I'll just squeeze that over there and I need my toilet in this corner and maybe in the middle of there I could put like a cabinet or another counter. Oh, there's also this bathroom cabinet that I always forget about and okay, I think this is what we're gonna do for our Barbie bathroom. We've got our bathtub over here, our laundry, our counters as well with some purple accents. And then over to this side, we have our shower, our toilet. I put tons of clutter in here, like a hair dryer, of course, some makeup, some like perfume bottles, anything pink I could possibly find to put on there. And there we go. That is gonna be our Barbie bathroom. We're ready to go downstairs, which is gonna be the final area. This is gonna be our kitchen and dining. So I think I want to have the dining table facing this way with like all the open windows. So let's first find a dining table. This is it's probably gonna look so cute from the outside because it's gonna kind of look like a dollhouse in a way. You're gonna be able to see like right in there. So I'm using those tables and chairs. I need another rug. I think I've reached my limit on the pink ones, <laughs> at least from that pack, but let's see what else we can find. Ooh, but maybe I could use that one there from Strangerville. And like I said, I don't wanna put too much over here. I don't wanna cover the windows at all. I can maybe just do like a couple plants in the corner and let's see how it looks after we add the kitchen. So all of my stuff is probably gonna go along this wall here. I think I want to use a blue fridge. This one matches really well from the country kitchen kit. I think we can maybe also use the country kitchen counters. I'm trying to find a good way to wrap this around. Like maybe if we put my fridge here, we'll do oven over here and maybe I'll change the ends on these to like that. Then I can put my sink in the middle here. Oh, and we can even fit an island right here too. I just need to make sure we've got enough room separating the dining room. And obviously we need the cow print trash can from the pastel pop kit. Okay, so this is what our Barbie ranch kitchen ended up looking like. I love it in here. I love the pink and the blue. It's giving pastel, cotton candy, unicorn, dream home. <laughs> Going over to this side, this side is a little bit more basic, but again, with that view, I didn't want to take away 
away from everything going on outside. You'll be able to see horses walk by. You can spy on the people walking around downtown. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. And look at it from the outside. It looks so cool, giving dollhouse a little bit. So this is our Barbie ranch style dream house. We're moving on from Chestnut Ridge. We have one more that we're gonna build today. The final Barbie dream house we're gonna be building will be here in Windenburg. This is still one of my favorite worlds in The Sims 4. It comes with The Sims 4 get together and you can see a bunch of similarities in the build style of a lot of these. One common theme is the Tudor style and every time I pronounce this, I pronounce it wrong, but it's that kind of wallpaper in The Sims 4. It's a very common theme here. We also see a lot of like stained glass windows like in this door here and you'll see a lot of them have like this second floor hanging over a little bit. So I'm gonna be building here on this lot. It's a 20 by 20 lot, so not very big. And we're just gonna try and create a similar shell to some of the houses that we saw. So up top, what I'm gonna be doing is bringing the second floor like hanging over a little bit, which initially looks like it's a mistake, but when it's done, I feel like it looks kind of cool. Our roofing is gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna take a gabled roof piece and I think I'm gonna raise it up a little bit. We're gonna do a little bit of a steep roof and I'm gonna copy and paste that down below here as well. This is the wallpaper I was talking about that they use a lot in Get Together, but you'll see we don't really have many options for colorful pink Barbie dream house wallpaper. <laughs> so we're gonna have to do a little bit of problem solving. I'm gonna use the pink stone from My Wedding Stories and we're gonna put that all over. And then I'm gonna grab this here, the wainscoting from the Decor to the Max kit. I'm gonna use the medium wall height and we're just gonna put this all over the house. <laughs> this is gonna give us that like Tudor kind of look, but without using that wallpaper. I swear Simmers should be allowed to put problem solving on the resumes. But when we're done, it's gonna look something like this. Let's use like a blue roof paint and using this get together fence, I'm just gonna build out a cute little like entry area here. Next, we're gonna be using some of the stained glass windows from get together and look at this. They've got those pink and purple stained glass windows. This could not have worked out any better. There's also this option we could use and it even works out for these ones. Oh, this is gonna be cute. This one might end up being my favorite. We might run into a couple issues on the inside with these like being there, but I think we can still make it work. A curtain can go a really long way. <laughs> okay, so after the landscaping, this is what it's looking like. It's giving like Hansel and Gretel in like the best way. I added a super cute garden at the front, some plants going up the wall. I really like this statue here at the front from Get Together. Even like along the side with all the window boxes, it's so adorable. And coming around the back, we've got similar landscaping, but I added this balcony back there as well. So now we're ready to go inside. And for my layout, we're gonna have a living room right here with a kitchen in the back. I think we're gonna do a full dining room over to the left. And then up top, we're again gonna have one bedroom and one bathroom. So get together is kind of a weird pack when it comes to decor. I think we'll easily be able to do like our dining room. I can maybe use these chairs here. It is an earlier pack. So some of those swatches and everything, I'm like not a big fan of, but we're still gonna try and build it in that get together style meets Barbie. See, this is what I was talking about, about the windows. I'm gonna have to cover that up. Yeah, we don't even have any curtains with get together. Hmm, the outside was easy. The inside, maybe not so much. Oh, we could put a dartboard in here. We also have the button basher, like get, get together. Focuses around like nightclubs and stuff. So that's why everything looks a little weird when you place it in a house. Oh, but we do have these heart-shaped cookies I could put on the table. Oh, and we have this really pretty massive clock. I think I might put that right when you walk in here. Oh, we have a fireplace. I'm gonna put that there. We'll mount our TV on top. Couches and stuff. Oh, wait, we do have a pink one. This is meant for outdoors, but maybe we could get away with this one if we used like a pink carpet. Okay, we have living room, coffee table, get together fireplace. Actually all get together furniture so far, except for the rug and the candle. We're gonna have to be in a club. So maybe we go with like the rainbow. Oh, we could even do the butterfly. Maybe we're in two clubs. Barbie does have lots of friends. So, so far there we go. And then for the kitchen, I don't think Get Together came with a lot of kitchen stuff either. It did not come with any kitchen stuff. It did come with a sink though, so I can keep that in mind. Let's maybe use these base game counters and I'm just gonna wrap them around this way. And then maybe my fridge could actually go over here. Oh, the growing together one would look pretty good here. Okay, so I've wrapped all my counters around like that and I could put a dining table right here and then we could turn this room into a bar. Let me play around with this a little bit. Then it makes sense to have the dartboard there. There, so I have the smaller version of the get together table there. We're gonna 
filled these counters up with clutter, including the get together espresso machine and the grinder. Maybe I could add a dishwasher here. And get together has a lot of the cute like coffee wall decor. So I think I'm gonna put up a couple of those too. Okay, so here is our kitchen and our dining. A little bit of a change in plans here, but I think this is actually gonna work out pretty well. Going along this way now, get together has quite a few different bar options. So I think I'm gonna go in with this one. We can add these really cute pink bar stools. We'll add a speaker in here and a huge sign over there. And I feel like this is going to match the vibe so much better. We've got our bar here now, a speaker. Maybe I can add like a VIP bucket in here. And there we go. Okay, so our first floor for our Barbie get together dream house. This is what it would look like in Windenburg. We do have one more floor to do. And for get together, again, if we don't have a bed, we've got a bush though. <laughs> I'm going to potentially try out this one. Okay, what do we have from get together we can use? Oh, we have a desk. I could definitely put that maybe over here. We can maybe just add some like fun things in here. Like we've got a foosball table. There's a mirror we could put maybe in the corner. Did we get a dresser? I feel like we did. Oh, we got the closets. Wait, I'm gonna have to move everything around. We have a pink closet. This is my lucky day. I'm gonna put that in the corner with maybe like an end table back here. We can use a couple of these wall lights. I need to move everything around. I think I'm gonna use this rug here from Growing Together. I'm gonna grab this super light pink Barbie picture here. I'm moving my foosball table over just a little bit to make room for my dresser. Okay, so this is what my Barbie bedroom looked like in Windenburg. This interior was definitely the most difficult out of all three of them. I think the easiest was probably the horse ranch one. Just because it gave me more options, we had more like pink and blue swatches. I probably shouldn't have picked this one as my final one, but I love to give myself a challenge. The bathroom also wasn't too bad because we we do have a bathtub with get together. I just added a toilet and the get together sink and mirror. And we also had these like little towels here from get together, which I forgot about, but I was able to match the pink and purple from the windows. And in the hallway, I just added like a bookshelf right there. We've got a chair from get together. And this is how it all turned out in the end. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know which one was your favorite in which world. And like I said, the Sims 4 Barbie videos are gonna be on hold for a little bit, I think. Not to say we won't revisit this in the future though because you know i will <laughs> if you guys like the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next one